Hey everybody, Brian Bush, Top Crop Alliance. Yellow spots and soybeans are coming back. So, we, I talked to you about six weeks ago about Phytophthora and some of those root and stem rots that were showing up there. We kind of came out of that with some more favorable weather and now more yellow areas are showing up again. What's going on? Well, there's a couple of things. First, sudden death is out there. You know, that's, that's a fungus that comes in early in the season, infects the, the, that root system and just kind of hangs on until you get towards late pod fill here and then it really shows up. Watch for more of that. But in particular, this is not sudden death. So you kind of see I'm down in the beans here, kind of a yellowish kind of spot around me here. There's nice green beans in the background. What's the difference there? Well, what's the one thing soybeans need the most of? Nitrogen. Typically those soybeans produce their own nitrogen. We don't even think about it. But you go out in the fields here and let me show you this. Typically we want to find at least a dozen, if not closer to 20, active nodules on these roots producing nitrogen. This is one of the yellow plants here. You can kind of see kind of an off green color right here beside me here when I pulled this up. I might have maybe six or seven nodules on here. Even worse, some of these that you see, when you split a nodule open, it should be kind of pink. What do we see here? You probably can't see that. They're brown, they're mushy. These nodules are dead. So unfortunately, another one here. This one's green, this one's immature, not ready to, to take off yet. Nodules need moisture also to survive. So because we got so dry there, um, and think back to the heat we had here about three weeks ago, I think these the areas we're seeing this on, clay hillsides, clay knobs, sandy areas, we were out of moisture. So we didn't produce new nodules. Nodules only last about four to five weeks. They replenish themselves multiple times throughout the season here. And I think combining that early July heat we had, dry weather, along with where we are now, we didn't get that next cycle of nodules on there. So compare this root system with very, very few nodules to one of the beans from the better part, just off, off camera here. Look at all the nodules on there, all up and down that one. I compare these height wise, no brainer. Look how short this one is. We got a nice tall plant here. Gonna support a lot more pods too. So unfortunately these yellow areas, we're just lacking nitrogen. Does it make sense to go out and throw on some more nitrogen, put out some ammonium sulfate? Maybe, if you wanna do some trials and things like that. Big picture though, it's moisture related. When the nodules, there are nodules on here. There are small green nodules that will start producing nitrogen very soon. Now, can we get enough nodules quick enough to continue to, to not only keep these pods, but add on some of these flowers like right here, get that to develop into a full on pod? Time will tell. Big picture though, today, not a whole lot we can do about these yellow pockets, unless you wanna go out there and try and spend some money on a nitrogen source, like some ammonium sulfate. You know, Purdue's done some great studies uh, in waterlogged soils, showing that if you su supply sulfur, which is a cofactor for nodule development and nodule uh, nitrogen fixation, you get a response, you get a yield response with that as well. They've not really, I've not seen the data on dry soils, like what we're seeing here. So I can't really see if that's gonna help us or not, um, but even so, if we can just hold on to what we have on here, new nodules are coming, these areas should green back up again, not getting worse. As we split these stalks, we're not seeing pathogens inside there. So that's a nice thing. So it's not like these things are dying and going backwards. We just don't have enough nitrogen to give them that rich green color we expect to see. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.